Hey guys, this is Franco again from Mallard Design uh, with another Vex. And this car is actually getting picked up today. Uh, today's what, September 29th, 2021. And the car is gonna get picked up today, this afternoon, a few hours. I gotta actually wash it up, clean it up, wax it up, all that good stuff before it goes. And um, I just wanted to show you a little bit more about this actual particular pill. Uh, and like I always say, this is not for show. This is not a video to impress or show or nothing. It's just, uh, it's intended for the guys that are maybe considering getting one of these cars, you know, and starting to do some research on the car. And that's why I make this video so they can really understand, you guys can really understand, uh, you know, about these cars and how they are and how they really are, the cork, the features, the options, whatnot, the truth about the car. Um, so that's the reason why I do this. Um, this particular case, this is a pearl white uh, car. This car is going to Miami. So a Lexus pearl white with a navy blue, I believe it's called, or seal blue, seal blue stripe. He wanted to get it done just like the prototype car. He liked that, that look of the prototype. So he ordered it the same exact way, uh, white with the blue line, black down wheels. The only difference with this particular car is the center of the hood is not black like on all the other white cars. This one is all white. The owner requested it that way and I actually like it better. I think I think it makes it look nicer. But anyways, just this is uh, a 2003 986 Boxster S stick shift. And like I said, it's going to Miami. Very cool guy, very cool owner. And um, the reason for this video is I kind of want to show you a little more the inside like I usually show the car and I hardly ever open anything like the trunks and the deck lifts and all that stuff so I kind of want to show you a little bit about the trunk and the interior a little more the exterior obviously we all know this is different from the charcoal one I did with the green line where the owner requested this piece to be painted black so he wanted everything black the whole cockpit if you may like this area with the top was all black and then from here back, it would have been all white. This one is different. This one is done the way I actually do them, which is the black was only in the center and a little bit into the back, like that style kind of stretches the look of the car a little more in the back, give it a longer back end look, which I, I personally like. That's the difference if you notice on the other car, and obviously it doesn't have the stripe on the top. Um, that was, uh, and the charcoal car was particularly requested by the owner, so it's not like something that we usually do. But obviously, I can accommodate whatever they they, they request. Anyways, so uh, let's get started. I guess with the front trunk, it's one of the things that I hardly ever show. We get the keys. So to open the front trunk, it's normal Porsche boxer stuff. You have the button on the remote, or you have a button on the inside, which they are right here. That's for the front trunk, that's for the rear trunk, this buttons. And this is all Porsche Boxer stuff. It's not something I made or I, it's something dumb because it's a VEX now, no way. That's just Porsche. So I open the front trunk, just push and hold this button and it pops. Then there is a locking thing right here, like most hood have. Even though this is not an engine here, it's a trunk, but it still has the safety lock. And this is the trunk. So the trunk is all mainly original Boxster trunk. The difference is it's not as deep as it used to be, right? So the reason why is because the battery used to be under the under here, but because of the modifications, the battery cannot no longer be under the where the windshield wipers are at. So it has to be moved. And so that made the trunk not be as deep as it used to be. Still quite a bit, about a foot, a little more maybe. That's how deep it is. If you guys can tell but anyways and now there is a cover here that when you lift this up there's where the battery is that's where the rigid, the battery the new location for the battery is some of the extra cables you see is going on it's for extra amps and stuff that this particular customer added uh, to the car which one of the amps sitting right there we put two different amps on this car one in the front and one in the back i'll show it to you later um i don't want to make the video too long it seems like I try to keep them short to the point, but it just gets, they always, they always get very long. Anyways, so let's kind of go through it. That's just the front trunk. 
and obviously the hood is a, the trunk is original Porsche hood is a different hood it was created by us and, uh, and here's another thing I wanted to kind of always explain to people ask me it's about the intake and the um, the intake right here that I always say it could be up and up and functional so obviously in this case you can see it's closed up right because it's not it doesn't need it but somebody was to open it then it requires it could be opened up get the air to come in through here through this area of the grill and but this area right here where the latches would have to be cut down across back up and all this will have to be lowered so then we could create a, like an enclosure that comes all the way to the edge of the hood and it keeps going through here and then the air that comes in here will go through there out of there it's truly i don't think it's necessary mm. I mean, on super cores and all that, aerodynamics, all that stuff, I get it. But on this particular core, I mean, if, it could be done. I just wanted to prove a point that when I say it could be done, yes, it could be done. It's just a matter of it require a lot of modifications and all that. And at the end of the day, the usefulness of this, I don't know if it's really that useful to spend all that extra money in modifying all that. It's, it's up to the owner, obviously. So that will be the front trunk, right? Let's go to... Let's go to the rear trunk. And this is, like I said, it's all boxer stuff. It's not something I've done uh, when it comes to the trunks. Okay, I didn't create these trunks. If you're not familiar with the Porsche Boxer, that's how the Boxer is. We just maintain all that. So same thing, different button. You hold it, pops. And then when you open this cover, there is another trunk in the back. Okay. So, like I said, this is not a, they call it, um, what do they call it? Store compartment or some crap like that? I don't know. I call it a trunk. Okay. So here's another trunk. It's also about a foot deep. It's good space. Do you need it or not? Well, that's relevant, but there's another trunk here. Here's where the water goes, oil, your oil stick, because the engine is in a, in a hard spot to get to. So I guess Porsche decided to put all this stuff handy right here. And that would be, like I said, I want to rush through this so I don't make it too long that's where the real trunk is how you open it you also have different access to it from uh, to open it i mean from the inside like i said with those two buttons then i'm going to show you in a little bit how to uh, open the hatch but i'm gonna have to put the phone down for a second because i can't do everything with one hand anyway um actually let's do it right now so that will be a trunk that will be another trunk and then there is this area that's where i store the top and where the engine is and to open that um, we have a lever in here that when you pull it it unlock it i just did and then it can be open i'm going to put the phone down I'll be right back with you guys okay so here we go here's the deck lid open and yes there's a stick okay the stick is not bent it's actually curved that way on purpose because when you put the top, most likely you're going to be in the driver's side of the car. And so when you pull the top off and you're going to slide it back in here, the reason why that stick is bent that way is so it's completely, it's kind of out of your way as you're trying to slide the top into the car. And that's why that's like that, right? Now we could put a struts to hold it open or we could do electric even and all that stuff. But like I always tell people, hey, it's up to you. If you want to pay the money to do all that not necessary whenever you decide you want to take the top off you still got to get out of the car unlatch the top take it off grab by hand put it in the back just open it put a stick and it saves you you know saves a lot of man hours to do all the other stuff and it's better i guess if it's up to the order then right here is where the engine is right right now the other video of this car what is all primed up the one i posted before this one you can see the engine where it doesn't have all the finishing touches. So now this one has all the carpet. This is all poor stuff. You, you unlock this, you lift this carpet up, and then under the, the, this clips where you can take, remove the cover off and you have access to your engine. It's a very easy thing to get to the engine, very easy. And, um, and so that's that compartment. That's where the top goes. When you take the top off, it doesn't go straight as it sits right now in the back, it doesn't fit. The top has to be spun around, so the back part of the top is going to go in here towards the front. And the front part of the top is going to go in here towards the back, okay? You just got to be turned around. Anyways, 
that's the process that's where the top goes that's how it looks right when it's all done um, like i said if you check out the video before this one you can see this same exact car all roughly all rough wasn't painted it was body worked and whatnot and you can see the car um you know or you can see all this that i'm talking about in this unfinished state where it shows you better the engine and stuff anyways i put the foot down close the damn thing down okay so that's top i mean the deck lid closed then gas lid very simple thing push lift drop it blop just like you do your kitchen cabin <laughs> same thing that's just where the gas is because the porsches have this uh, fuel tank in the front so that's where you actually pop the gas into the car and for guys that are very familiar with the porsche and all that of course this is all obvious information but not everybody's familiar with the boxster some guys are actually maybe considering having a vex bill one day and for the first time they're considering buying a box and they don't know anything about the boxer and the boxers are a little bit different than your average you know you're not your average but your common car right they're a little bit different or more weird so that's why i'm doing this anyways let's get to the inside i know it's blurry what the hell but anyways so now we're going to get to the inside of this car um This is the inside. Obviously, like I always say in all the other cars, we try to maintain as much possible the original uh, dash and interior of the car. We enhance it with some of the carbon fiber stuff and the, 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 those are just overlaid, you know, stitched up leather carpet looking thing. You can pick them up online. It's nothing special. We didn't actually redo the floor, reupholster the floor, no. It's just an overlay over the original carpet, but it looks real nice. Is inexpensive and so it can be easily swapped out if you ever have to and that uh, in this case I'm still unfortunately I'm still waiting for the steering wheel there's been a very big issue getting parts lately with the whole Kobe thing uh, and so unfortunately the customer he ordered another steering wheel the custom carbon fiber steering wheel but it just did not get here in time so he had the option to wait hey, hey, hey. he had the option to wait um, for the other steering wheel and hold the car here or take the car and then i guess we'll mail him to the steering wheel he's going to put it on himself not professional but it's the reality anyways so the seats were done completely redone stitched up again put a back logo and it's got the alcantara in the middle the reason why we tried we we try to t let people to use alcantara i'll suede in the middle is because it's real nice when it comes to the sun like you can see right now it doesn't get as hot as leather wood and it doesn't burn you practically spread that way it's, it's nice in that aspect of it but some people don't like the suede anyways that's that yeah the thing we do it's uh the touch screen right so we install a, a touch screen nine ten inch touch screen and um you know like i said everything was enhanced a little bit just try to give it a better nicer look uh the reason why i don't like to touch all this stuff it's not because i cannot swap it out obviously i can if i can do all this to this car i can easily remove this dashboard throw it out and create a whole new dashboard the thing with that is the airbags systems on the car will have to be deactivated because they're designed to work the dash it's not just for looks uh, when they designed it in case of a crash to everything around it works with the airbag and whatnot and so i don't think is that necessary unless you're the type of guy you like you want to fool people into thinking this is oh no i pay a million dollars for this car which is you know that's not me uh people ask me when i drive these cars around what kind of car is that it's a porsche boxster that has been customized that's exactly what i say so i have no problem even keeping the batch here but to each his own right everybody decides what they want so we try to make it as clean as possible, as nice as possible. This car right now is not cleaned up anyways. But this is how it looks. Here's where the latches for the uh, top, right? And, uh, you know, just try to... Um, that's the reason why I keep all this. Everything functions as it should. The AC functions well. The gauges, everything works perfectly, right? And that's one of the reasons why I try to maintain this interior as possible. But if somebody wants to me to do a whole custom interior, I can do it. It wouldn't be done for the same 45 grand, but we can redo all this and get you the interior you want. Um, but we have to deactivate the airbag systems and obviously it's not included in 45 grand. And I, that's one more thing I wanted to talk about the 45 grand. 
So what does this 45 grand mean? 45 grand means is the minimum standard I will build this car for, okay? Now, that doesn't mean the 45 grand is gonna give you a SEMA-like show car, fit and finish a $20,000 paint job. No, not gonna happen, okay? So $45,000, this is a particular right here, it's a $45,000 bill. What you're looking at right now, this is just the standard bill of a VEX. This is not an upgraded version of the VEX or nothing. The only upgrade this car has is little accessories, like for example, the interior with the carbon fiber and whatnot. And this customer in particular, he wanted to have a tremendous sound system. So he added this. Uh, these are all false gate, so everything's very expensive items. But the whole boom box with the amp in the back and the amp in the front, four false gate speakers throughout the door. So this is the stuff that, yes, he did pay a few bucks extra for that because that's not, you know, it's something that he added to the core. When it comes to the build, what you're looking at, it's, a forty-five thousand dollar bill. Okay, is it perfect? No. And the video may look super perfect, and I'm not saying that the car has any problems. But I mean, can we do a better paint job? Of course. Can I use better name brand wheels? Sure. Can I put a better name brand uh, stereo? Or of course. But a lot of people are saying forty-five grand. You know, yeah, forty-five grand. It's not going to give you uh, a SEMA show car, which is another trick of the trade and a lot of people what they will do is they would show you a hundred thousand dollar show car when you're ordering a fifty thousand dollar car that's a very big difference between a show car uh that costs fifty a hundred thousand to build compared to a fifty thousand dollar car and and that's what i like to do these videos the way i do raw show you all the insights this and that and I want people to understand that you can upgrade anything you want on the car you're not limited to the forty-five thousand dollar bill i can stretch the cars make it into a limousine if you want sorry about that so i can stretch this car turn it into a limousine if you want but obviously that's not going to be done for 45 g's right anyways you guys get me just wanted to show you a little bit before this car leaves right now when it gets picked up i'll make a little video of it getting picked up and all that good stuff and um and that's it, man. I just want to show you another car and have a little more understanding. Again, for guys that don't know, the video is intended especially for somebody who may be looking for, you know, starting to do research on this car and kind of want to understand how they are and, you know, and all the good stuff. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, man. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one, man.